In order to connect a spatial analyzer using your MS-60, what you want to do is first make sure that there's a pathway from the MS-60 to the computer. And that can be done in either two ways. You can use a Wi-Fi connection or you can use Bluetooth. And the easy way to verify that you have a valid connection is to use this little at symbol. You can just open it up and see, are you online? Which means you have an internet connection and you have Bluetooth available. So in this case, I have both and I can then choose which one I want to use. And the way that you would do that is to go ahead and go into your settings. So go to settings and um, you've got connections. And this internet wizard is a great tool. What it does is it allows you to walk through what available networks are, are there and you can then go ahead and connect to one if you didn't have a connection already. But we're already connected. So the next step is simply to go into the details and verify your geocom connection because your geocom connection is what you'll need to use in order to talk to Spatial Analyzer. And I have mine set to Bluetooth. Um, so if I were to use Bluetooth connection, this is all I would have to do, but I'm gonna change it. I'm going to go ahead and make it, use it in the Wi-Fi mode. So you hit edit and then change it to LAN. And when you hit okay, now the geocom communication is set to LAN and you can press the control button to find the IP address. And this is the IP address of the instrument and it's what you will enter when you go to connect within Spatial Analyzer. So that's really all you need to do on the computer side um, or on the total station side. So the next step would be to go to your computer. Once you have configured your total station, the next step is to return to the computer and make sure that your connection to the device is set up as you need with the computer. And that is done actually through your Bluetooth connections uh, if you're using a Bluetooth connection to the device. And the easiest way to figure out what you need is to go to your Bluetooth and so say show Bluetooth devices and scroll down to your total station to make sure it's paired and then go down here to more Bluetooth options. And this is sort of the secret way of getting to the COM ports. And what I have here is I have two connections, one to one total station, which is MS60, and the other is to a TDRA6000. And the COM port that SA wants, SA really will only connect if you give it the right COM port. And so if I'm going to connect to this first total station, what I want is the outgoing COM port, COM5, for this MS60. So that's what you would enter in the connection dialog. Um, so uh, this is just a way to find out which COM port you need. So if you go to connect, uh, let's go ahead and add my total station here. And under options, we now have a choice. You can have a default interface to use in the 2022.3 version. So you can choose between the total station or the Theodolite manager and this selection will persist. You can also choose to just run when you add the instrument. So I'm going to do is just add it and then go the long way to uh, connect like this and say I want to connect to my total station model. And here is our connection dialog for connecting to the MS-60. And as you can see, it's set up for a TCP IP connection using a wife, um, an IP address, which is the one that is listed on the connections in the total station interface. So you would enter that in here and you can put ping to make sure that it's talking to you. If you were to connect using Bluetooth, then what you would do is you'd open this list and scroll down to the COM port that I showed you before, which is COM5. So you just have to remember that the outgoing COM port for your device is the one that SA needs to know about in order to connect to it. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit connect here, bring up the connection to our total station.